friends. So we are getting packed and ready to go to the beach. We are beach bound. We're gonna go to my family's beach house. It's my first time visiting since they moved. So um, we had a different beach house and I've got a new one. So excited to go check it out and see and smell the ocean. It's gonna be Hudson's first big trip away. His first time staying overnight. First time at the beach, lots of firsts. So super excited about it, kind of interested to see how the drive goes. It's going to be a little over three hours. I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I thought I would show you what we're packing because like I said, it's our first time traveling away with him. So I'm going to show you a few of the things we're bringing along and then I'll try and show them in action and I'll show you the house when we get there. And yeah, can't wait. Excited to take you with us. So aside from the normal like diaper bag and clothes and just like super basics, this is his bag with like miscellaneous items. So I thought this might be helpful. We're bringing in lots of books because he loves books. They calm him down. We've got teether toys and just a few of his like favorites in here. We've got one of his Wubbinum binkies, but like some good teethers. He loves these toys, this little, um, this little wooden toy that has a bell inside and then this little tiger, they both move and he can like chase them around. Um, in here we've just got a few more little small toys, little teethers, um, and this could easily go like in a diaper bag or whatever. His blankets are in here, of course some extra wipes. We use um, the water wipes. This is a fold up, it folds up into this tiny thing. My aunt gave us this for Christmas. It's like a big mat that you can use for like a picnic or at the beach, but it's really great for indoors too. If you're going somewhere else and you just want like a clean surface for them to hang out on. And then this is random, but we've got our thing of dish soap so that we can wash his toys and his bottles and everything. Um, so that's it for that. And then over here, this looks crazy, but we've got his um, fold up. This was as much as I really felt like folding it up. Um, it does go smaller than this if you want to take it apart, but I didn't want to. It's a high chair and it can connect to pretty much anything. So I'll have to show you that in use and it's got a tray as well. And then in there we've got his bottles. We've got um, a couple of things for us, like for our co morning coffee. Um, and we've got his boxes of formula in there and his like eating stuff. So bibs, spoons. So he's all set. And then of course we have the basics upstairs. Hey friends. So we are a little over halfway there. Um, and <laughs> we hit some traffic. So that always kind of just makes everything feel like it's taking longer. But Hudson has been awesome so far, just hanging in his car seat. Um, and he napped pretty much the whole way here. And then once he woke up, he was just hanging. So I brought some teether toys for him. We had his pacifier. He doesn't usually take a pacifier unless he is going to sleep. Um, but we had that on deck for him. So that definitely helped when he did wake up. So we made a stop. We got some In-N-Out burger. I got a lettuce wrapped burger. That's why I usually get lettuce wrapped. I'll get two patties. Um, I usually get cheese and grilled onions and that's all I get on mine and it's so good. I'm gonna eat mine once we get on the road but um, Dathan ate his and he's using the restroom and then we're gonna get back on the road. Um, but yeah, so far so great. He's doing a good job. Um, I just gave him some milk and I'm hoping that he will go back to sleep once we get moving again um, and then we've got a little while longer. So we'll uh -huh. see. <laughs> That was a great burp, buddy. Good job. Um, but yeah, almost there-ish. Almost. So also we have Tucker in the back. I don't know if you can see him, but we're in a Subaru Forester, so it has just the front seat, back seat, and then the way back is just like a storage space. Um, so yeah, we're quite packed in here, but we're making it work. I think probably, I told my husband, there's a minivan in our future. Maybe not a minivan, but maybe something bigger. <laughs> Bless you! The stroller is sitting in the passenger seat, so we're just sandwiched in here. We are here! No, you don't have food in your teeth. <laughs> it's my mom. We made it to Cambria, and I'm gonna show you around the house. It's so pretty, and I want to show you a few things that we brought too. A few things I didn't show you before we left. So here is Hudson's. This is his diaper backpack and I just like literally filled this with diapers. I figured if we're gonna go out and about, I can just put like a couple of diapers and some wipes in there in my purse and just bring that or I could throw them in his stroller. But mostly we'll be at the house so I wanted to bring plenty of diapers. So we've got those, couple packs of wipes and then I brought a couple of nighttime diapers. They're stuck in here somewhere. I think they're in the back. Um, and then back here, I've got a changing pad for him. And I brought a few disposable ones too. Um, I think that's about it. I think I've got like hand sanitizer down in the side. And then for my little suitcase, I'm sharing with Hudson. So I've got his clothes on one side, mine on the other. And then down here, this is, um, it's like a travel cosmetics case. And I actually brought this same one to the hospital when I had Hudson. 
um, but it's a really nice one. I got it from Amazon. Opens way up and it's got a bunch of pockets. So a few of these things were actually left in there from the hospital, including this dry shampoo and some um, like makeup face cleansing, makeup removing face cleansing wipes. Um, I've got my clip, a brush, deodorant, and I've got makeup. So I just threw that in there this morning when I was getting ready. And then I've got all these like travel size things that I've collected from Beauty Counter when they've done like holiday sets or anything like that. I always like getting my hands on the little travel sizes because those are super handy. Um, oh, and then over here, this is cool because it zips off so you can just take it right in the bathroom. And I've got just like some toiletry stuff. So Q-tips and floss and toothpaste and a little tiny toothbrush. Um, so yeah, we kept it pretty simple. Um, so we will do a full on house tour tomorrow. I want to show you this place. It is so beautiful. My parents um, have had a home in Cambria for a long time, but they just bought this one recently sort of recently it's my first time visiting but look at the water right there anyways i'll show you all around when the lighting is good tomorrow but i wanted to show you hudson's little travel high chair again amazon <laughs> but this thing is sturdy and it hooks it like twists so it clamps onto any countertop or table so you can take it to restaurants we're going to do that tomorrow but it also comes right here at the countertop which is super nice their dining table is glass and it's not recommended to go on glass i'm sure it would work but it's not recommended so we just put it right here but it's super solid has its own tray that you can wipe clean and it's just really nice it folds all up so that was the one i showed you before we left i wanted to show it to you in action so we are gonna hang out have some wine enjoy the view and i think there's gonna be some fireworks over the water so maybe i'll get some shots of that but you know how fireworks videos go sometimes they're just like not even worth the trouble and you should just enjoy them um but yes i will be back tomorrow and i'll show you around the house and keep you up to speed on what we're doing Hey, bud. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> Let me see you this way. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Dinner time. We've got meat from the grill, some veggies, and Hudson's got a giraffe and a binky because he already ate. <laughs> That's what are you doing? Hey! What are you doing in your high chair? Oh, hi! <laughs> Hello friends, so we are just back from walking around downtown and I thought it would be a good time to show you around the house because it's really good lighting. It's sunny outside, but it's not too bright. So I'm gonna show you around where we're staying. Okay, so here's where you walk in. And look at the ocean. I don't know if you can really see very well, but when we get down there, you can. And there's like the upstairs little catwalk thingy and Hudson is down there with grandma having his bottle. So I'm gonna show you just like the, well, I'll just give you a peek in here and then our room. Here's the kitchen. Hudson stuff everywhere. <laughs> kitchen. And then this is our little room. And this was um, my mom's friends that she gave to us, or gave to my mom. So she brought that, which was really nice because I don't know if I mentioned it, but we were thinking about bringing ours, the Nuna one. And we did not have room in the car. So that was really nice that we had that. So this is our little area up there. Um, is another big window, but we closed the shades because we brought um, Hudson's sound machine and his monitor, um, and that was really nice to have. Um, and then also to be able to close the window shades was nice. So, anyways, this is our little room, bathroom in there. I think Dathan is in there, so I won't take you in there. But it's got these cool um, barn type of doors, which is nice um, to close it off if we need to. And then in here, I'll try and give you an overview as much as I can. Tucker is here in his crate being good. A little bit whiny, but good. Um, and just like a little patio area. And then the water you can see. We, um, My mom washed up this quilt, so we had it for Hudson to play. But here is the family room area, Tucker. And then the kitchen, the big island. And this, we ended up moving his little high chair over here for him to eat, but this came in so handy. And he even sat there with us when we ate. 
And then this is like the dining room and you can see where you walked in and came down the stairs. And then there's Hudson hopefully being good and drinking his bottle. You're pulling hair? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Hudson, this little seating area is my favorite because it looks out on the water. It's such a nice day. Sun came out. Hey, are you being nice for grandma? Ooh. And then the stairs. The stairs are a little bit scary, but getting used to them. We were staying downstairs, so I haven't been up too much. But then up here is a little catwalk, <laughs> which is scary. But it's pretty cool to be able to see down into all the little areas. So there's two rooms. Crazy. And the ceiling. So over here, this way, is my parents' room. So this is like the master bedroom gets prime real estate with the windows. Look at how amazing that is. So you can walk down to the water, but you kind of need like, <laughs> I guess the old people had like a rope that went down to help them get down to the rocks. Or I think getting down is okay, but more like getting up is kind of sketchy. So anyways, here's their room. And then their bathroom is super cool because the um, there's like a window up top of the mirror. So it's really like good lighting in here to be able to see yourself getting ready um, their shower looks out to the ocean how cool is that and my mom's got all of her beauty counter stuff in here of course um, she is signed up as a consultant pretty much just for the discount um, so she got her counter time set ahead of time she did the pre-sale like I did and she ended up getting hers like way faster than me so I got to sneak some of the stuff last night and it's so good okay then heading back out there's one more bedroom Hi, Day. <laughs> no hi from Nathan. He doesn't like the camera. Um, okay, so here's the other bedroom. With all the chairs out there. We went out there for the fireworks last night, and we couldn't see them. It's a different angle from their old house that they used to have. So, But we got to hear them. And Hudson fell asleep anyway. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. This is the bedroom. And if you look down here, so there's another like half barn door. This is our room that we're staying in. Isn't that so crazy? And then it looks into this room over here too. So it looks it looks confusing. There's also like a roof, almost rooftop deck out here. Um, <laughs> there's stairs over there. But if you come over here, it's just a little closet. In here is the bathroom. A really nice bathroom and like the shower and stuff over here. And then down here, there's like this little office kind of loft area it's just such a cool spot Hudson's gonna love exploring in here when he's a little bigger and then again one of these half walls that looks down into our room so pretty cool that's pretty much it I'm just gonna show you a sneak up here because it's cool that you can see down so that was like the front door where we walked in and then I don't know if they're still down there oh there's Nathan again he's gonna appreciate being on camera all these times <sighs> okay I think that's it So we are heading home. 
Um, so let's see, yesterday we went out to dinner and that kind of brought me to a few things I wanted to share just to kind of wrap this up, was like our favorite things that we brought with us. Um, like kind of some some must-haves you know what I mean so the high chair the travel high chair that we brought that ended up being a big win um, we were able to bring that to the restaurant with us last night we went to a nice restaurant like somewhere people go out for a nice dinner um, and I was a little nervous about bringing Hudson but he did really good so we had that um, high chair that clamped onto the table and we ended up sitting at a table it worked out well um, it was a table where half of it was booth and so we sat on the booth side and then my parents were in chairs and um, we just clipped on Hudson's high chair and he was right in between us he did really well for a while we just brought a couple small like chewy toys for him and we had his pacifier um, because he's at that stage where he's mostly doing milk, he only eats solids like once a day, and sometimes he's into it, sometimes he's not. I offered him a few little bites of things, and he was just didn't. He was, I think, he was overwhelmed by everything going on in the restaurant, so he wasn't too into it. Um, but anyways, it was nice to have a couple little toys for him, and he did get like over sitting in the high chair a few times, and so he would be on me, and then eventually, um, Dathan held him, my mom held him, so we passed him around a little bit. But it was really nice to have that high chair. Um, for when he needed a place to sit. And then we just kind of scooted everything on the table so that he couldn't reach it. Um, so anyways, that was really nice. We loved having that. Um, and it'll be really key for when he's a little bit older, when he's actually eating. Um, and then a couple more things that we really loved having. Um, one was having a travel crib. So we were using one that was gifted to my parents. Um, and it was nice that we didn't have to pack ours. We could have, but, um, it was nice to have that for naps. Um, and then the sound machine was really nice because we ended up being there in the room where he was sleeping, like trying to get get ready and stuff while he was in there napping. So that I felt was really helpful. Um, and then what, oh, the baby monitor. So we had that for when he was napping too. So that was really nice. I'm glad we brought it along. The one that we have doesn't require Wi-Fi, um, So it's really quick to set up. You just plug it in and it works. So that was great. Um, also, one more thing I'm going to snag from him that he's playing with right now. He's getting a little fussy because we've been in the car for a while now and we're stopped at In-N-Out Burger again getting some food on the way home. But we found this at a toy store while we were out shopping yesterday and I'm really glad we grabbed it so my mom bought it for him but I'll find a link to it. It's got shape sorter on one side, little crinkly things and then it like it zips open. There you go. So anyways, I'm going to pause and entertain him, but wanted to update you on a few things. Um, hopefully this was fun to come along with us and just kind of see some of our, our favorite things we brought along. I'm going to type up a little blog post to go with this, and I'll link it below. I'm going to link to everything. Um, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.